get it? Hello? Can make him work. Yeah, yeah. Kim yeah. Work. Kim's back. Hey. Right, we're going to do this again real fast. Ready? Hey, guys, welcome to show number two. I'm sorry, I know the frag bells, and I'm going to be your moderator today. Yay. Yay, hey, everybody. We got it this time. I'm Seltzer. I'm back, and I'm ready to rumble. And hello, everybody. I'm Pixel, and I'm still here and still the same. Again. And it's days, and I'm different, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> She's different in an amazing way, and so am I, but not as like cool, but it's still happening, and I'm Esper. And I'm Saber, and you can hear me now. Yay! Everything is awesome. <laughs> Everything is awesome! <laughs> Sorry, I love that song. <laughs> so we pretty much brought you guys the first official show last week. This week is our round two of this, something that we're going to continue for quite a few different weeks. Um, we're going to bring you guys five to six different topics. We're going to cover them. We would love for you guys in chat to give us your opinions. And at the very end, we will do kind of a QA. and a So if there's a topic that you've seen in social media, in gaming industry news, whatever it is, we will pretty much cover it for like the last 10 minutes of the show. And then after that, we are going to be doing an hour of gaming on a game. Can I say what the game is now, or shouldn't I make them wait? Uh, make them wait. Okay, sweet. Wait. We're going to make you guys wait. <laughs> um, but it is a browser-based game. You guys will all be able to play it if you want to play along today. Um, so we're going to jump right into it. How's that work? Um, yeah. So, ladies, the way that this is going to work for the people that maybe missed the show last week, I'm going to give you guys a topic. We're going to discuss it. You do not have to agree. You can give your opinion. Sometimes because, yeah, we, we're friends and we love each other, we may disagree. But sometimes we may also get off topic, which is totally fine because that's when all the good stuff comes out. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is topic number one. And I will bring these links up into our, um, into our Twitch as well so you guys can kind of see what we're talking about. So the first thing that I have to bring up with you ladies is delayed games. Now that we are going into fall... Um, a lot of the games that were scheduled to be coming out this year, obviously, are either getting pushed back to late December or they're getting pushed back to 2015. So a few of these games that, I mean, obviously, we know what these are. Um, the crew we found out was just going to be delayed about a month. Evolve is not going to be coming out now until early 2015. Uh, Schoolgirls is also being delayed. Hotline Miami is being delayed. So there's tons and tons of different games being delayed. So the kind of thing that I want to discuss here with you girls is, number one, why are they being delayed? Does it hurt the title, like the game sales being delayed? Do you think it's going to hurt it being delayed to 2015 or being delayed, you know, in December? And then is it because of betas? Do they need more time? So there's kind of a lot to discuss with this. Whoever wants to take the floor first, it is all yours. Makes me mad, <laughs> Siren, when the game is late because they, they start teasing games so far in advance. And I really wonder if, if they should just not tease me with it until they're really ready for it. Yeah, I can see that. I wonder almost how many of these decisions are made based on if the game is not ready yet and then they push it back, or if they're like, man, look at this calendar. There are all these games coming out. Maybe we should push back so we can like make sure that the people that are buying still buy it versus having to choose between like competitor titles which one they're going to get. So I wonder if maybe... It isn't as big a hit on sales as we've seen. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely a part, like, a strategic decision, as well as just making sure that the game is fully ready and polished to get, come out. Like, I know that they made those statements about Watch Dogs when that got delayed. Um, I don't know. I feel like I used to be a lot more angry <laughs> about this sort of stuff when I was younger, but now being, like, immersed in the gaming industry, like, we see it. And it, it just happens all the time. And I'm just used to it. I just avoid getting on the hype train. Don't ride that hype train. Mm. Mm -hmm. Do so not ride the hype. Okay, so the biggest thing, know. too, I some of these... Oh, sorry, Nicole. No, that's okay. I was going <laughs> to cut you off. You don't count. Delayed. I don't mind games getting delayed. If, if it's going to help improve the game and the one I'm really excited for, if it's only like a month or so and I know it's going to be better for it, I'm okay with the delay things happen during development sometimes setbacks happen and you just have to roll with the punches i don't know that's just me i think every like major title in like the last year has been delayed for a little bit hasn't it like pretty much every like evolve was delayed um didn't batman arkham knight get delayed like every i feel like almost every game's delayed i don't think it's a bad thing because like i mean the game's still gonna come out and so like like 
everyone also said if it's better like i feel like a little bit of weight like it you know it gets you a little bit more excited right like a, a couple extra days like you can you can you can, it's okay to deal there's there's a ton of games coming out now so maybe having a little breakup in which games come out isn't a bad thing for us too yeah and i think the biggest thing too is these betas so obviously evolve and the crew both had um some pretty big betas for people to kind of get online and you know play with so do you think that the betas are what obviously created those delays? Maybe people get online, all the feedback that they were given? Well, I guess in that sense, like, a delay is fantastic. I, I have more of a problem when they, they announce a date and they get hyped about the date and all this stuff is about and then they, they have to push the date back. Like, I, I much more prefer, I think, the Blizzard idea of, you'll get it when it's done. Relax. <laughs> How Which is you- exactly like it incorporates the beta and the feedback and the, and the community, you know, interaction before a game actually comes out. I think How- in Evolve's case, that was delayed way before the alpha started. And I know that they're doing another like extension of their closed alpha. And OK, so we're going to get off topic a little bit, but I have totally to fun. tell you. And I, I OK, so. Playing the Evolve Alpha is probably the most frustrating thing in the whole world. I don't know if anyone else in chat is currently a part of the Alpha, but being combined with two other people or three other people that don't know what the hell is going on in that game is so mind-numbingly awful. Ugh. But I love playing with you guys, so we can talk about that. It's <laughs> much more enjoyable. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you guys have the Evolve Alpha? Ah! I don't. I want it. I, don't. I think. I think they. I think a I few of us it. have it. Well, we have. Key, I. I know for sure. I have some keys for it. So I was saying I got some codes too. Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe we should give them to you guys. Let's just. Uh, <laughs> let's just do wow, that'd be nice. <laughs> Game on, evolve, done. Let's do it. Next team practice. I so want to play. I like that game a lot. It's fun. What's your favorite class to play? Monster. Well, knowing Saber has his favorite. Never mind. Why did I even ask? <laughs> Why did I ask? <laughs> Kim likes being the monster. <laughs> yeah. She always tries to kill me first as the medic, and it makes me sad. That's what you Thought do. We were friends. For the medic, because you're the only one who can like We're revive friends. people. It's horrible. No. So then we weren't. No. Yeah. As some people in chat said, like the worst thing is, is when a game gets delayed and it's no better than <laughs> what it could have been. What what it could have been if it launched on time. That is quite frustrating. Yeah, I, I totally understand that. I mean, this is kind of one of those topics where it's kind of like sink or swim, you know? If it gets delayed, people get really pissed, but they're still going to buy the game, right? I mean, if they really wanted yeah. it, they're still going to they're still going to buy I've it. I've ever heard of anyone. Yeah. Like has it really hurt the title sales, you know? The only thing I can see is maybe like people that are Christmas shopping, okay? You got mom and dad who are at GameStop and they would have bought um We'll just use a fake game because I don't want to use a game that I know. <laughs> uh, but say, say the game was supposed to be coming out and then it gets pushed back to December. <laughs> a lot of mothers do most of their shopping before December. They want to get it done out of the way, right? So if they go into a GameStop and that game would have been released in November, it most likely could have gotten an extra sale. But, you know, timing like that, do you think it would really hurt for the holiday sales? I don't think a pushback from November to December or closer to the the big holidays in the U.S. is really going to make an effect because the the mentality here in the states is that you know you get your kid whatever the hell they want and if that game gets delayed until like December twenty fourth, people are going to be out there going crazy trying to get that game for their kids. Like that's just that's just what okay. I've seen from consumerism in these states. That's the lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was more so, thinking more across like the lines of like random, you know, mom and dads that walk into GameStop and they're like, hey, can you suggest any other games to go with this mm-hmm. Xbox One I just bought with this game? And they kind of add on random stuff. Yeah, that in that case, then yeah, it probably it hurts a little bit, but who knows? I don't know if it really has yeah. a major effect. Last minute shoppers, Epic Danny, a one in chat, made a really good point. There's a lot of last minute shoppers, you know, maybe that's actually a good thing. For them, because they come into GameStop, they're like, "What's the newest game that came out? I want that one." Like, well, this one came out yesterday. <laughs> Done. I'm well, buying it right now. 
the big thing too is pre-orders like a game company i think knows how many games it's going to sell or roughly or has a great idea of how many games it's going to sell way before the game even goes out so i wonder if they see a lot of pre-orders they they get you know increased pressure to make the game better to fix other bugs or if they don't see enough pre-orders do they delay it maybe i'd love to know like a developer's mentality on all this and well, actually i think we, actually we have one of our developers at yeah <laughs> so logan shadowstorm is one of our awesome friends and he's a game developer and he said speaking from the development side 95 percent of the time a game is delayed because it wasn't ready um and then he put in a little comment we can't all be blizzard and ship yeah, games whatever <laughs> But yeah, that's that's actually a great perspective. I mean, if the game just isn't ready, you know, I'm sure they want to get it out as soon as possible. So it's not really a luxury to delay. It's like a, a tough spot to be in if your game is being delayed, maybe. You know what? Actually, this is... Uh, maybe I should save this for later. We're talking about... This kind of ties into one of our future topics, but I'll, I'll save it. I'll save it. <laughs> Write it oh, down so you don't forget geez, it. Damn it, now I want to know. Him. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, you save it. Put it, put it. Put it in your pocket and bring it back out later. Yeah. Or move yeah. on. What if she has holes in her pocket? I oh, then that would suck. But write it down, Kim, so you don't then. forget. <laughs> write it down so you don't forget, because I will ask you. All well, right, I want to so, know what everybody feels about delays. Do you love them? Do you appreciate them? I mean, we all get annoyed by them, but sometimes they're a necessity. So what do you guys feel? Well, if the game's not done, then... I mean, I don't want to play a game that's missing a vital point of the game. That'd be kind of oh, awkward. You don't want to play a game that's not quite finished? Then yeah, that'd be weird. What is the success, of, this, is the success of a... Yeah, right. Okay, you know what? I know what you're talking about, Kim, and I'm going to save it for later, too, because we actually have a nice topic that dovetails with this that, uh, that confounds our logic. <laughs> yep. I think I know exactly yep. what you're talking about, too. <laughs> I don't yeah. know what you guys are talking about. We're going we're gonna to move on to this next topic that I know a lot of people are super excited about because you guys are all a bunch of social media, celebrity-driven, crazy asses that actually probably whoever's watching this can be like, what the hell? But we're going to move on to Kim Kardashian, guys, because that lady cannot just blow up more than she already has. Kim in Kardashian space. West. Oh, sorry. Oh, excuse me. Oh. We're going to be talking about Kim Kardashian West. Uh, her, I don't want to say stupid Hollywood game, because I've actually played it, and I did get a smidge addicted to it. Um, but technically, the Hollywood is now going to be on Facebook. So this is a mobile game that is now transferring its way over to the Facebook world. Hey, bestie. Um, oh, my God. I'm playing I love play the video. She's like, hey, bestie. Sorry, I tried to turn the music off on this face. You look stunning. That makes you me feel good, though. That's They're playing with my mind, because I don't care about this game, but I care about being called somebody's bestie and every day. Ah, it makes right? me feel good. I'll log in for that. Mm. Well, the biggest I thing... I would never. The biggest no? thing about this game Welcome is... Welcome to the A-list. I mean, I remember seeing an, an, an email from, you know, friends, being like, oh my god, so glad we didn't make this game. And then... Two weeks later, it was like the top, you know. Well, why we didn't end? we make this game? Yeah, why, <laughs> why, why didn't we make this game? Type thing. Over two hundred million dollars for this. That's huge, you guys. That's like when. That's when did like this huge. game launch? That's originally? how much she's grossed. Yeah, it wasn't just earlier this year. Yeah, yeah we, oh, we did it a few months ago. Yeah, no, it was. It, it was really not, hasn't been long, and they oh, really racked yeah. up the money. It well, it's a smart game, too, by the way. Hmm? It did. No, it's Michelle super played smart. it. I, so I like fake played it. Like I watched some videos on it. I know Crystal like joked about it for a little bit. She was like, "Yeah, I don't know why anyone would play it." And then like I could hear it in the background. Like she'd be on her computer and you could like hear her phone go off. And I'm like, mm. <laughs> "Well, yeah, because it's uh, no, on you. Too. <laughs> That's why people play it. So it will send you updates on your phone. Like, where have you been, hottie? La la la. And it will like send you updates <laughs> if you haven't played in a couple days. So I finally had to like I had to delete it because I was like, "Don't call me hottie. It's awkward phone." <laughs> You know, like asking you where have you been because you're not playing it. And I would have played it more, but then it started asking for my money. Like to advance in the game, you either have to wait time, which I don't have, or you pay the money. So those impatient, that just shows how impatient most people are. No, but Joe Loft, I see you in chat going, oh, it's cute they call it a game. It's a game. There's no, you don't get to decide what's a game and what's not a game. This is a game. This is very much a game. And it is basically just Neopets with a Kim Kardashian skit. Because you just gotta feed it, put time in it. <laughs> so uh, don't don't try and gatekeep what's a game or not. <laughs> and, it's, and it's clearly 
successful. I mean, there's mm-hmm. no denying how successful this game is. And it's it's just whether we like the wrapper it comes in or not, you know. Could it be like a well, gateway somebody- game? Somebody, that's what I was about to say. Somebody yeah. said, you know, this is a type of game that attracts people who don't typically identify as a gamer or a video game fan. And maybe, you know, eventually it'll pull them into our industry and help it grow, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's a good thing. Gateway gaming. It's very important. Gateway. Yeah. Yeah. Like the gateway drug. Gateway, 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 gateway gaming. Gateway. People <laughs> always ask in, in chat, no matter whenever I stream, and I know when you guys stream, I always see, like, what's a good way to get, you know, my friends that don't play games into games, right? Like, maybe, like, You know, based on their personality, maybe the Kim Kardashian Hollywood game isn't a bad one to kind of like, oh, well, I know you're a big fan of Kim Kardashian. Like, download this on your phone and try it out. And then also, here's another suggestion if you liked it. And just kind of like, you know, gradually ease their way into, you know, the games that you maybe play. Because you maybe start with them with that and then, you know, work in like co-op games that you can get on the Wii U. I know Days is like addicted to to Wii U co-op games and, you know, like it's... It's 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 a good gateway game. Gateway games I, are. I do have to say, if you do recommend this game, though, you have a responsibility <laughs> to not let them like dump their entire life savings into yeah. this game. Yeah, friends don't let friends make mobile <laughs> transactions. <laughs> <laughs> do not let them pay to win. Okay. Yeah. I mean, these games have been done before too. I mean, this the style oh, of game yeah. is like. I mean, this is probably the millionth game that's been done. It's just like it, but thing is her name obviously i mean the chick's doing something right for how much a lot of people don't like her she's a businesswoman and down to it dude she's made not only her name and her you know her mom being the crazy manager that she is the kardashian name into a multi-million dollar company so dude more power to her just saying i wouldn't mind uh dipping into some of that cash (laughs) no i would i'll be happy to new job Hey, girlfriend. What am I, you know, just voice not over. <laughs> See, we should make a frag dolls game. That'd be sweet. It would be sweet. I agree. What except, should we do? Except it wouldn't work because, like, in the Kim Kardashian game, she actually leaves and goes to photo shoots. She goes on dates. She actually gets out and actually does stuff with her life. <laughs> Ours would be more like, okay, frag doll's sitting at the computer. When do you feed her? When should she take a shower? <laughs> Okay, now back order to the computer. Order Indian food, order ramen. Like, <laughs> hard decisions, really. <laughs> Should you brush your teeth today? Maybe not. <laughs> Should you put on clothes today or stay in your jammies all day? That's yeah, the real yeah. question. It's been four Anyone days else? since you showered. Change of clothes is my end. <laughs> no one else is wearing pants, right? Like, I haven't worn pants. No, no, I'm straight up pajamas. Pants. You see these yeah. bad boys? <laughs> yeah, pajamas. All the, all the Who wears pants on the computer? Yeah. <laughs> no, it brings up a good, enough. It, it's funny to say that though too because I bought my car. I mean, it's probably been like a year and a half now. I have like no miles on it, dude. It's the only car I have, and it, it's like pristine condition, brand new. I'm like, dude, I probably could have gotten away with not having it. I mean, in San Diego, you still need a car, but it's, it just shows how much of a life I really have <laughs> without leaving. No, that kind of brings it. We're gonna go off topic now because I think we've said enough about Kardashians, but. If you were to come up with a frag doll game, Rachel, what would what would it be? To your five second pitch. Each of you think of it right now. I'm gonna go through each of you. Alright, so it'd actually be like all the mini games from Pokemon Stadium where we do stuff like behave in a classroom and eat sushi. And it would just be based entirely off things that we do as part of our frag doll job, which is sit in front of the computer and eat sushi. <laughs> Dave? Um, so I've actually thought about this a lot with a friend of mine, Erica, one of the cadets, and we, uh, we actually rattled off some of our ideas and this is, this is one of our ideas. So you play as yourself and you have to level up and you have to beat each one of us frag dolls. So to beat Seltzer, you'd have to beat her in like an esports arena to beat Pixel. You'd have to beat her in like an MMO to beat Kim. You'd have to beat her like tinkering with gadgets and building something. Esper would be a card game. So it'd be like levels that are tailored off of each one of our personalities. I like that, but you'd have to be the final boss because you're the scariest one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, final like, boss you have to socially engineer her to like you. That's the final. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Esper, what's your game? Fragdoll game, go. Okay, so it's gonna be um, like one of those hair app things where you uh, oh like you can have all the different hairs of the frag dolls and you can just swipe it and all of a sudden you have Pixel's hair. Swipe it, all of a sudden you have Saber's hair, and you could change the colors instantly as soon as you want. You swipe it, now you have blonde hair. It's pretty much the perfect app. 
because you can, you know, you hang out with your friends, and it's, I mean, it's still a game, kind of, and, like, you can customize it, upload it to, you know, your social media channels, and people can rate it, and they can, you know, spend money to get Pixels, bright pink hairdo versus Pixels, purple with pink hairdo, right? Like, it's money-making genius. Love, no one steal I love, that. I love Epic Danny. He's all hair up. Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Epic Danny, they exist, okay? Like, <laughs> It's really you funny. You have no idea pictures. what you're talking about. <laughs> so you okay? So you take your phone and you take a picture of your friend, and then you can actually put hair on it, like whatever hairstyle you want. It would be based on the frag doll's hairs. So you would literally we just all take their face styles. and put it on your, you know, your liking. <laughs> Cooking mama Pixel. frag dolls. Pixel, what's your game? <laughs> I was just gonna say, can can I just steal his idea? Cooking mama frag. <laughs> it's so great because we all like cook very differently. I don't know how how Siren cooks, but Rachel makes like really bomb ass like Korean food, and Michelle just makes like stuff risotto out of the packages, and <laughs> Nicole makes workshops. I know that, and Saber makes stuff out of her microwave. So, Guys, Pixel told us how hungry she was before she started the stream. So I feel like I'm a little so bit influenced hungry. by the current situation. <laughs> I, I love every food. Like, so. If everyone could cook for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Last but not least, you got your your five ten second ploy saber. Oh, this is such a hard question to answer because I want a, a frag doll game for all the genres, but I think you could only have one. I know, like, okay, so maybe, like, a superhero game um, where it's not fighting, but it's, like, third person, run around, save people as a frag doll, and you can get your team, so you can be one of the frag dolls, you can play as one of the frag dolls, but then you work with all the other frag dolls to, like, save the day and fight monsters and make peace with aliens that are coming from the, the it's, I don't know, it's just all that I had <laughs> in my head. <laughs> But I think that'd be cool. Almost like uh, City of Heroes, if you guys played that oh, yeah. way back in the day. The customization was so, so good. So good. So good. Flaws. That was like the only Thanks. MMO that I got really into. Okay. Anyway, superhero game. I just want. I just want us all to have superhero <laughs> powers and outfits. I like that. I like that. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next topic. So if any of you guys are oh, out there, did you there... say a game? Yeah, it was the first one, wasn't it? What was it? You? I don't remember. She's faking it. She, <laughs> did. she didn't make up a game. I remember. <laughs> totally. Skip this yeah. question. Turn to dodge no, it. I didn't. Yeah. I, in the beginning, I talked about it. We'll hit yeah. rewind later. All right. <laughs> next, do it. Next, next, um, next topic. <laughs> um, we're going to move on. So Kickstarter. Kickstarter is a, a thing that a lot of people enjoy. I don't know if you guys have personally ever dumped any money into a Kickstarter before. But um, the whole thing here now is Kickstarter has been a huge platform for indie developers to kind of pitch their games, try to get some funds. Um, and Kickstarter, there's a huge decline in anything that's crowdfunding for pretty much, you know, gaming. And, and the one of the reasons is early access, you know, on Steam, things like that. And it's funny because one of the games that I've been obsessed with lately, which is Town of Salem, uh, is a Kickstarter. So what do you guys think about, you know, just games in general on Kickstarter? Uh, do you see that trend personally? Do you have any friends that you know? Have you guys actually ever put any money into a Kickstarter? Kill. I put Kickstarter, put Kickstarter money into, what was it, Broken Age a while back? I think that was last year. Um, mm -hmm. I really enjoyed the game. I personally have not heard of any, like, very big success stories in I don't know, the very recent past. And I think it makes sense for developers to start looking into Steam Early Access because people are basically paying you in order to test the game. So not only do you get the money, you also get that feedback from the community. And I feel like that is very much more helpful than just having people give you money and then not getting that feedback going. So totally cool. I like Early Access. I think it's great. Well, we were just talking about with the game delays that people don't want to pay for an unfinished game. Kim, yep. Kim, that's what I, right, that's bro? Okay. Yep. People yep. paying for an unfinished game right here, right now, because they want to get in early and they want to be, be heard before that game goes gold and, uh, you know, say what they like and what they don't like and feel like they can influence the outcome of the final game. So I think this is awesome. Um, but I'm also a big fan of Kickstarter, uh, although I think when a lot of people did the... Uh, the VR uh, Oculus Rift thing, they felt like they got burned when Oculus Rift turned around and got sold to Facebook. So yeah. I 
think that was like kind of the the turning of the tide where people started backing away from just Angel investing all over the place. Yeah, and with with coming out with delays, I think for the most part, if you're doing a Kickstarter, if you're a game developer and you're doing a Kickstarter or some sort of crowdfunding uh, thing, um, if you're just communicative, communicative, however you say that word, with um, your fan base, with the people who have actually spent money on your game, then I think you're fine. But if you just do a delay or you do some big change and people already spent money on you, sell you, off. You know, like whatever happens, you really got to, I mean, that's where the stress hits. I think when you have people, direct people that are, that you're accountable to, um, whereas in a big like game company, the, the money is coming from within your organization and from investors versus, and like, there's no real direct connection versus you and the people that like you crowdfunded, um, your game for. So that can be pretty intense, I think. Yeah. It's crazy too to look at the stats. So it says here in the articles that $50 million dollars was pledged to video game campaigns in 2013. Now, for the first half of 2014, only 13.5 million was pledged. Um, so they're saying, you know, if that trend happens again for this last half, um, it'll only be about 27 million. So that's almost cutting it down to half, which is crazy. That's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I think what's scary about it, though, is because, like, the thing is, like, even if you back a Kickstarter, it's not guaranteed. Right. For them to actually, they don't have, they can just take that money like, thank you, like, fantastic, this is this is great of you. Where they do have, like, really great stories, like the potato salad guy who actually had, like, a potato salad festival with the money, which was, which was awesome. And, like, you don't, you don't, you know, I don't think we hear enough about the success stories. Because I think when, when stuff happens, people are always more spamming about, like, the negative things, right? Like, that's what we yeah. see more in, in media is, like, what's the terrible stuff that's happening? Like, I don't. You know, oh, this is like a nice story, but this is way more easy to talk about with my friends and get and get hyped up about. But there's one Kickstarter that I'm really happy that got launched, and the card shop that I go to actually had a successful Kickstarter because they're making a cafe, and you know they raised 50k and their goal was 25k, and like Sweet. it's cool because I can see the progress. Like when I go to my card shop, I can see like they have people working next door making this this cafe happen, and and I think. I think maybe vocalizing more like the positive parts of the Kickstarter, like showing like, you know, because of this, since you guys did this, here's this. And maybe like, maybe it's marketing or something, but I feel like showcasing the happier stuff would make more people more prone to donating. I just have to backtrack real fast. Cause you said technically uh, you can raise the funds and do whatever you want with it. So going back to our topic before, our frag doll game. We're gonna do a Kickstarter and take that money and go to Hawaii. Down. Yeah. Raise your hand. Yeah. yeah. Raise your hand. No, I, I, I'm pretty sure there are some legal I limitations I to know, what you can I do. I'm pretty sure Kickstarter takes a percentage of that. Um, just as any sort of crowdfunding thing. And there's some things. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's Kickstarter specifically, but like, if you don't hit your goal, sometimes you don't get any of that money. Yeah. And that is rough, too, because it's, it's a crapshoot. Like, you don't know yeah. what you're going to get. Oh, somebody said Kickstarter just changed their rules. I'm not sure what the change was. You have to show you at least tried to do something now. Yeah, we can with show the money pictures that was of the funded. Frag Doll game. You know, just little stick figures. We have to drawing. go to Hawaii. We have to go to Hawaii to make sure... We have yeah. the right um, personalities. How the game yeah, is the gonna setting work. for the yeah. game. Yeah. We got to get scout together. Location. <laughs> People are gonna bring up this recording. And be like, "Look, them bitches were going to Hawaii from the start." You <laughs> 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 ruined our plan. Secret plan. I like Kickstarter. I think it's really cool and I think it helps people that don't have the funding behind them to do awesome things that they probably wouldn't be able to do without it. Um, but parts of me are also a little skeptical, but that's just because I'm a skeptical well, uh, person. People haven't exactly inspired trust in each other since the dawn of time, but I do feel really, I like personally, even though I'm not doing the Kickstarter, I feel really empowered, you know, because when I sit down with my friends and I'm like, man, wouldn't it be great if somebody made like, you know, a, a perfect iPad cover so I could play on the iPad in the pool? And then one of my friends is like, oh, and punch it into Google and oh, for, you know, another $10,000 and that could be a reality. And I'm like, well, you know, here's 20 bucks, you know, I, my wish is, is, that's my penny in the wishing well of 2014. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I almost donated to the Veronica Mars movie Kickstarter. I'm not going to lie. 
And then I didn't. And then I watched the movie. You know, so. Oh, <laughs> I did. it's okay. Can I, can I share a product with you guys that I actually just funded this morning for on Indiegogo? Yeah. yeah. It's okay. So they're, they're headphones. They're shaped like cat ears. The cat ear oh, oh, the cat ear one. Yes. And they have little speakers, which I probably won't use. I just like the way they look. And they have little LED lights in the um the, the ear cups and then also like on the actual ears. So if you just raver. type in headphones, <laughs> if you type in headphones on Indiegogo.com, you'll see what I'm talking about. And for 150 bucks, you may or may not get a pair of these headphones. So I am gambling my money on this. Mm -hmm. And I really hope that they come out because they're so cute. Oh, I see that accent where cat ear headphones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're at 126%. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it just started, what, to day and it oh, has until I, sometime oh, in november really? yesterday it's yeah yesterday. i was gonna say i thought i saw it yesterday what's the that's link yeah. so i can pull and, it up what's the link uh oh uh, here i got it for you you got that's, it that's an interesting question and chat i'm gonna ask you uh this question too so write your response in chat if you are interested in a kickstarter and you have kind of been holding off um in giving your money but then they hit their goal so they get funded 100 percent, and maybe they're even over their goal are you more inclined to give money to it because Chances are, since they've hit their goal, there's a better chance of them actually producing whatever product is that you're that you're funding. What do you guys think? I think I mean, we're gonna need these blue ones. Honestly, yeah, I feel I'm <laughs> honestly I'm super cheap. I will not give money unless I know I'm going to get something in return. I'm just like. I'm stingy with my money. Is that terrible? No, that's fine. No, because other people aren't, and they're crowdfunding, and it's already good, so we're set, Nicole. Yeah, yeah <laughs> don't, don't, don't even worry. I just know that I spend money on things that are not as uh, necessary. Like, I feel like me putting in, like, $5 is not going to hurt me. Like, I know for some people, they can't afford to do that. But, like, for me to put in $5 into something that I'm like, you know what, like, this is this is cool. Like, I, I would like to support this. Like, I, I don't think it's... Either way, like, you don't have to, but people like me who, you know, spends way too much money on coffee every week, like, me cutting out one coffee to hopefully ensure something that I'd probably buy, like these cat ear headphones, which I'd really actually want. Nano-ish, Edda didn't show me, because now I want them. And I feel bad because I'm going to wear them all the time and knock on your door and wake you up at I'll night. I'll kill you. <laughs> oh, my God, but she's such a great video. video. <laughs> like, like, hey, Daze, what you doing? You know, I'm just wearing my cat headphones. Cool. With your speakers, I'll be like, yeah, shit. Good morning, Daze. Oh, 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 oh. Good morning, Daze. Time for dubstep. I would love just to wear these cat ears out in public and just blast the music. And people try to like be like turn it down, and you just look at them like I can't hear you. I got my headphones on. What about accent? That's what I would do. Sounds pretty good. First, I came up with. No, these are these are cool. I like these. Uh, the thing that this company did, right? You said this went live today. Uh, yesterday. And, um, they did it right because I heard about these probably like a month or two ago. So they were kind of promoting it before their you know their thing went live. So that was pretty cool. Good marketing. I was also very, very happy good. because they're graduates from UC Berkeley and they're in the Bay Area. So it's like, ah, oh, that's cool. Like, you know, smart kids. Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's holler. Show them. Let's talk to them. You, you should play the video I sent you. <laughs> oh, no. What is that? It's a song that you have to play when you wear the headphones. Oh. <laughs> All right, hold on. I got to wait for the ad. <laughs> I heard this song so much because of Dave. <laughs> I'm catching up dance, dance, dance. Oh, this one. Oh, you would, Rachel. Seriously, you guys are getting off topic. <laughs> this is like old albino black sheep like video. No more kids. you imagine it? getting on BART with this blaring? Because there's always people who have music, you know, when they get on public transportation. And like sometimes they'll just bring their big boom box. But now you can just wear your cat ears. That actually saves everyone time and space. Value. <laughs> but they, they still have to listen to your dubstep. Yeah. <laughs> or the meow song. All right, so we're going to be moving on to the next topic. Uh, if you ladies are done with your cat crap, because I know you guys love your cat. Oh, my God. You if it were a cat. pug, you wouldn't say these things. Hey, you know what? The thing is, it's not even that I really like pugs that much. The problem is they're like my brother and sister. So it's kind of that, like, you have siblings. You're like, oh, I hate you, but I love you. Ah, oh, that's the pug interaction that I have. 
They're my mom's <laughs> kids. Like, literally. For the last 15 years, she's loved them more than us. <laughs> <laughs> you, think I'm, you think I'm kidding is a sad thing. I don't think you're kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Ladies, I'm crazy! Um, so, moving on. We'll talk about Pugs a little bit later. Uh, so, Nintendo has been doing some new stuff. So, Nintendo Magazine, I don't know if any of you guys were ever subscribed to it, ever got it, ever went and bought it, but technically, it is no ma. Um, so, Nintendo is going to be trying to do most of their focus on social media, following that the magazine is now being closed. So, we're going to open up, talk a little bit about it. I personally... Um, I think I maybe got the magazine like once. Have any of you guys ever, you know, subscribed to it, gotten it? Isn't that the one back at the NES where it would have the cheats in it for like, um, like I used to play Mario 3 all the time with my family when I was a kid and it had the cheats for the cards that you'd flip over the memory game. And I actually way back in the day had everyone memorized. So, you know, there was like a few different versions of it. And because of that magazine, I'd know to flip each corner, like different corners and whichever one they were, I'd know the whole layout so I could get them all in one sitting. Um, if that's the same magazine, I totally love that. And that's really sad that yeah. it's gone. And this, and this is not like brand, brand news, uh, brand news. I knew that we knew that Nintendo magazine was going to be done. Um, but they were around for 20 years. I think the big thing is the why they did it. And now that it's going to be exclusively, you know, social media and things like that. Um, I mean, that's got to show, you know, something. Do you think like a lot of the media outlets, maybe even not just in gaming are kind of focusing more on social media and getting rid of, I mean, like newspapers one day, will they still be around? Nah, we don't got that many trees left. So if they could <laughs> stop, that'd be great. I, I think like we've already seen like a huge, like a lot of people lost their jobs. People who were, you know, writing for newspapers, like and, and magazines and like, you've already seen like a huge decline in printed media. Whereas now, you know, like everyone has e-readers. So like you can get your magazine subscription on your tablet now and you know like it kind of is slowly making that whole thing like definitely decline like the only time i ever buy a magazine now is if my nook is dead and i'm at the airport like that's you know as sad as that is like how many people actually really subscribe to magazines now like i could see why placing that you know budget that they're using towards more stuff they're putting you know digitally online yeah. Well, and somebody said print media is expensive and not only is it expensive, it takes up space in your place. Mm -hmm. Like Michelle, think about how many books you'd have all over our floor. If you didn't have that freaking nook, it would be scary. But so all those books, she reads a book in like one day. <laughs> yeah. So my bed, instead of having like an actual bed frame, I just have books, hundreds yeah. and hundreds of books. Now question for you guys. I, I don't want to assume that you guys all get it, but game informer, I know I've been getting ever since freaking back in the day and I collect them. Do you guys do what I do and literally just scan through and look at the pictures and then get all of your news and, you know, game stuff from the internet? Or do you actually go through that magazine and read it? Do you I guys get it? The I article say. From <laughs> do you actually get it? <laughs> so I, you get it. I, I totally get it. Yeah, because of uh, GameStop and That's Power Up Rewards mm -hmm. and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and, and the magazine itself is actually pretty good. Um, and yeah, they do editorials sometimes on, on like games that I'm super interested in. Like I know that they did a really cool informational one about Assassin's Creed Unity a few months ago and that was on the cover. It was um, such so a yeah, cover. I yeah, I totally read them and they're good articles. So mm -hmm. I have that, but, this hoarder instinct. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> oh, no, I was going to say it like at, at the same time, like sometimes they get exclusive stuff that you know, someone at Polygon might not necessarily get. So it's, I, I like having alternate sources of information. It's good. Yeah, the problem is once I get it, I can't let it go. And so like, I've stopped myself over the years. Cause I have my mother, I could pull her in right now and she'll be like, can you get the, the, the anime magazines out of the basement yet? Like, oh, I, just, <laughs> I, I can't let them go. So like, even if there's like one page or one article, like I'll, it just never leaves the house. So I've had to like cut myself <laughs> off and really these, they're just, they're enabling me to not hoard anymore by, by stopping Nintendo magazine. <laughs> You saying that just, like, totally envisioned me of some, like, old dude that used to live at his parents' house who would have, like, his porn stash in his parents' basement, and yours is just your anime magazine. Mine is just Shonen Ooh. Jumps. Stealing. Oh, like, Shonen Jumps stop. worth it, though. That's worth yeah, it. Yeah, I know. I know, but what am I... Garage sale this weekend, guys. Come get it. <laughs> really or no? 
Oh, yeah, actually, come on down. <laughs> Head to the Seltzer's house. <laughs> be, be, be I, I actually, there's someone in chat, Joe Alash, says um, that they prefer paper over digital magazines. And that's actually interesting because Game Informer does offer a digital version. So I'm curious, do any of you who get Game Informer actually look at that digital version at all? Because I personally don't. Like, if I don't have the physical copy in front of me, I will not look at that magazine because it's just way harder to open up the digital version at the end of the day. And I'm just like, oh, Kotaku, Polygon, IGN. So what do you, what do you guys think about digital versions? I'm really weird. If it's a magazine, I prefer to read it online. There's short articles. It's easy to read online. If it's a book, I prefer a physical book. I don't like staring at a screen for that long. So for yeah. books, for me, I want a real book. But for like magazines and short articles, I would prefer it all online. I never touch a physical magazine anymore. Like never. Um, we were at the hair salon yesterday and they're like, you want a magazine? I'm like, no, I have it on my phone. And I'm like flipping through it on my phone. I read a bunch of, I read like four magazines in like three hours. But like you need, I feel like for bathroom reading, especially like, you know, there's private times in our lives where you just want to, you know, <laughs> <laughs> read something and sometimes like you know those magazines like you know you have that little thing next to you you know your your of course Michelle and... would bring up the pooper hey I didn't hey I said <laughs> bring it time. Michelle be, maybe you're taking a bubble bath right like mm. you don't want to put your e you don't put your iPad over your you know I mean we did talk about waterproof iPad covers but I mean you don't want to like sit in your bathtub with your like iPad like that that feels dangerous right whereas like I mean if you drop a magazine or a book you're gonna be like darn it but you're not gonna you know be out a couple hundred dollars because you derped. Who drops that in the toilet? I said in the bathtub. Oh, bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> what? That means yeah, some new Michelle there. stands up and pees with her her iPad <laughs> yeah. and Kendall. Like, I gotta the use toilet. the restroom. Oh god, I can't hold all these. Bathtub. That makes so much more yeah. sense. You, that miss. Yeah, okay. Take, I said when you take a bath. Okay. Like you know when you're when you're taking a, a bath in the bathtub, and you want to enjoy like a book. A little easier when it's paper versus versus an iPad. Paper versus plastic. <laughs> oh, you guys. Okay, we're going to end on that note of the pooper dropping iPads and Kindles into the bathtub <laughs> and the pooper. Um, so last thing we're going to kind of go over before we get into our open Q&A. Um, it's New York Comic Con week. And unfortunately, oh. I'm still at home in San Diego. So as you guys can see, tier, tier, this is the first time that we have not been to New York Comic Con in a very very long time which is sad but it's okay because we get to do the show today right guys um, yeah. um, I know Seltzer will be there hopefully a couple days this week so if you guys are going to be out there you can say hello to her um, but we're going to talk a little bit about just what's going on I know um, Rachel that you said over the New York Super Week so you'll maybe yes. be able to kind of talk to this a little bit and how you know gaming is kind of Coming up on the New York Comic Con and just Comic Con in general scene. Well, yeah, this uh, this is something that New York, uh, New York Comic Con put together, but it's actually celebrating a whole week of kind of nerdy stuff that's going on in the city. The biggest stuff was uh, last weekend we had the uh, America's Championship for Hearthstone and World of Warcraft. Uh, shortly after that, starting I think yesterday or today, we have ESL One, which is this huge Dota tournament. Um, throughout the week, all around the city, they have, you know, different bands and, and stand up and all kinds of stuff that's celebrating like geek cultures. So I it's it. around New York right now. There's all these banners up and, and the nerds are out in full force. It feels good to be there. <laughs> have you been to any of the events yet? Besides, you said uh, yeah, earlier I, this week you did what, which one? I hosted the, the Hearthstone and the World of Warcraft, uh, championships for Americas. So that was pretty sweet. We had, uh, the Hammerstein Ballroom. And um, I think they, the the staff at the hotel, the, the ballroom felt really bad for us because there was, eh, you know, maybe like between like 800 and then at its worst, like 50 people that were there in the audience. But we had almost 100,000 people watching online. But of course, the security guards are just like, there's like 10 nerds here and I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That kind of brings but up a good thing, though. Like, I mean, for events like that, if they're being... So many people are watching them at home. Is it worth spending all the money to actually do the live event versus bring in all the players to a studio, make it look like there's a massive crowd and really, you know, just kind of focus on the, the at home, you know, Twitch audience? 
Um, I think it's it's definitely important for the players. Like for a lot of them, this is their first time playing on a stage, playing in front of people at all, playing with you know shoutcasters and soundproof headsets. And we had a really like, ridiculous set dressing. I was next to like, a fireplace with like an LED TV that displayed a fire behind it. Like it was just not their usual gaming situation. So for the players, I think the spectacle is important. It's important to put the show on. But um, I think you know it, it's something that we maybe didn't fill the Hammerstein Ballroom this time, but next year I think we'll do better and better and better. Just as as more people realize that this is a culture, they want to come out and they want to be around these people as opposed to just consuming it from the comfort of their their computer chair. Why did they do it? Uh, why didn't they wait to do it this weekend, like during actual New York Comic Con, when more people are out there? I think it's it's more the the venues and the costs and the timing. We had to get oh, these results more. in for a qualifier for BlizzCon, which is coming up. So they had to do that uh, last weekend. Got it. It looks really good too. Like I, I remember like creeping. I was like, oh, Rachel's doing stuff. I'm gonna go creep on it right now. And like it looked really cool. You're like on like this really nice like bougie leather chair. And you're like, hello, Hearthstone player. Tell me what you did. Like, and I was just like, yeah, go Rachel. That fireplace is dope. <laughs> like, so awesome. That was really great happy. production quality. That was like it looked really good. Oh, thank you. I'll pass that along to our production team. <laughs> yes. Nice. But we did. Uh, it was funny because we were set up and we had one row of computers, and then somebody tweeted out a picture from the back of uh, ESL One, which is going on this weekend, and they had like three rows of computers and production and and tricasters and soundboards and all this crazy stuff. So uh, there's still a ton of stuff going on in the city, and it's just getting bigger and more exciting. I like that. I'm just sad that we couldn't go. <laughs> Tears are rolling down my face. Tears. You just can't see them. <laughs> Tears. <laughs> yeah, no, I like this. Cool. Um, so if you guys have the chance to go out to New York Comic Con, go have fun. Um, think of Take us lots of pictures. while you while yeah. you do it. <laughs> and if you don't get to go, don't worry because there's always next year, and then there's always San Diego Comic Con, which is huge, which we go to. So. You get, to, you get to pick your coast. Just saying that uh, the West Coast is the best coast that they throw my game time. Oh, I wonder, do you know if they're doing the speed dating thing? They've been doing it at New York Comic Con for a while, like geek speed dating. What? Did you guys ever watch any of those it shows? Show, right? No. Yeah. yeah. Their shows? <gasps> There's, there was. Well, it was like, it's on YouTube now. I'll find it, it for you. It was like two or three. Oh, yes. It was very short, right? It wasn't. Like um, no, it was actually like um, six episodes oh, six. where they would have people at New York Comic Con, which is, you know, kind of crazy, would would speed date. And uh, they made shows out of it on, on people, you know, meeting up at New York Comic Con. Like, how do you guys feel about going to a convention like New York Comic Con and possibly meeting? Like, would you would you do it? Like, would you guys be interested in uh, meeting your possible significant other through a convention like that? Because, I mean, it means you guys have the same you know, interests, right? Yeah, well, but how many of those... If you're not working with them, how are you going to meet them? Yeah, I was going to say, how many of those people are from the same place? Because it, uh, that seems like, to me, it'd be just a fat mess of, like, people who are from all over the world, or all over the U.S., I should say, going. Mm-hmm. So, I, I mean, I guess it depends on who's from where or what like type thing. Like those nose bounds, okay. Hey, dude, well, long distance is a oh. bitch. <laughs> it is a bitch. Oh, it was called Geek Love. Here, I'll link you guys. Geek Love, oh, how cute. But, like, people, people would speed date and, and meet their loves. At, at Geek fence. Love is also the name of a very freaky novel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one with the circus. Thing, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I personally wouldn't do it, but I would totally love to watch Esper speed date. Just, oh, okay. yeah, oh, she would she would break so many hearts. Great. What, what's your <laughs> AD? Not high enough. Leave. Like, <laughs> next. Next. I want to make a video of this. This would be awesome. That would be fun. Of Esper. <laughs> Ending it there on speed dating at New York Comic Con. If any of you guys get to go, tell us how that uh, tell us how that goes for you. Um. <laughs> So we're going to kind of just start stuff up for our community game day. But before we do that, we do have a couple minutes. If you guys have any quick topics or questions for any of the dolls that are in here today, um, you guys are more than free to ask right now. I'm going to get our game set up. Uh, If you guys want to get into the game that you know that we're about to play, I don't know, maybe Kim, if you want to announce what it is. Well, uh, do we announce it now or are we taking questions? I'm confused. Which one? Well, we're so taking questions I'm just waiting for questions people ask in. questions. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So I can announce what we're playing? Yeah. Yeah? Tetris! Mm-hmm. Woo! Hey! 
Hey. Your <laughs> enthusiasm. Yay! <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Tetris, well, specifically Tetris Friends, right? That's the Tetris Friends. The I will link. So Even though I feel like, like after you play it, you won't really have friends anymore because I said you guys invite. There's no co-op <laughs> in Tetris Friends. There's the link uh, for Tetris Friends. I gotta set uh, up our uh, lovely, lovely so stream. We we got a question from chat. Ooh. So it's: Are we going to make Saber play any more scary games for October? Yes. yes. Wow. <laughs> Someone else asked, did any of you play ladies play Aliens Isolation? And we have a very fabulous video coming up for you on Monday. So just subscribe to our YouTube channel. Could, could it be that? that? Could it? Could it? Could it? Yeah! <laughs> Alien Isolation video is coming out Monday, guys! Woo! Terrifying. So you'll be able to catch it there. I love aliens. Though. My my community game night screen is completely jacked. So you guys are gonna have to bear with me for a hot <laughs> second. My overlay like just disappeared. Oh. Bye. I apologize. Give me like two, <laughs> three seconds. I'm, I'm excited to find that I still have a Tetris Friends account, so I can save all my sick progression from the last times we've been playing. Okay, we have uh, another question. How did you guys get into Heroes of Storm? <laughs> I opted in. Yep. Into Heroes of the Storm? Um, at PAX East, actually, we sat down with uh, some of the developers from Heroes of the Storm and did a short interview, and after that, they were kind enough to send us some, uh, some alpha keys. So the trick here is to uh, schmooze ah! the interview. <laughs> schmooze them! Schmooze them. <laughs> okay. Here's a, here's a really good question from... Uh, Red Wolf Vion. It being October, do you guys have any fun or silly Halloween traditions? For example, I get up with friends and go to a fear farm or watch cheesy horror movies with friends. So do you guys, are you what guys... is a fear farm? That's something that amazing. we should go to. It's where they grow fear. Nope. That's where they grow fear. It's like it's like where they grow <laughs> corn, but it's fear. <laughs> I don't know why that was Can we all go? Let's bring, let's bring a saber. No. No. You don't <laughs> want to see me I so every every year I go um, to Six Flags Fear Fest, which is close by in in Maryland for me. Um, and even then, I I get terrified. There's like a haunted house. There's a haunted hayride, and I just can't handle it. I I know they're all in costume. I know it's all fake. Cannot handle it. No, no, I won't look. Can't, I'll just sit in a little it. in a little like just curled up position, and I won't look at anyone. And I won't talk to anyone. I'll just sit there. You're Maybe so I'm cute. part of the attraction. I'm just a scary little. A quick <laughs> question: How does the haunted hayride work? So you're like in a in a little carriage or something, yeah, and then you like just, it's like a, hay, like a like a just like a normal hayride. There's like bales of hay, and you just sit on the hay, and it's just like a little tractor that takes you okay. through, and then you go through a haunted trail. So like people will jump out from. And the they'll tell you stories too. So. And it's, yeah, it's, it's not. Yeah, fun. this is like an East Coast tradition. Is this not something they really did out west? I I never did it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, our whole state becomes like haunted hay rides and corn yeah. mazes, and well, we have like haunted hay rides and stuff, but never like I've never been to like a horror fest. Did Halloween There's, horror nights? Yeah. Have you guys There's ever been to that? Go camp out in uh, SoCal. Never. Out. That is so and scary. They'll like drag you away in the middle of the night, and you guys have to follow clues on how to get me back and stuff. That is terrifying. terrifying. If I got dragged away in the middle of the night, I would probably not lose do it well. no <laughs> yeah. have, you, have you guys been to Halloween Horror Nights I know um, we did one event in Orlando and we actually went yeah it and was fun the whole time I'm just like behind Crystal on her backpack like this like with my eyes closed like just letting her lead me on with my ears covered and I was like I can't I can't do this right now mm -mm. like and then I went and I had like a churro and everything was okay but uh you went and had a yeah. churro oh yeah I did and then we had like what you... the churros <laughs> now whenever I get a chance to eat a churro I do but Abraham I Lincoln would be proud. Can't do scary. I think I, th I don't think any of us like. We all like talk like a tough game, except for Kim, who's all like, "I'm scared," but we all like, "Yeah, no, we never get scared." But if you look at that Five Nights at Freddy's video, every single one of us screamed multiple times. Well, like a multiple shit times. jumped out at you. <laughs> That's what happens at like when you go to a, a horror fear farm or whatever. Like it's mm -hmm. all the same. The people just jump out at you and cha <laughs> chase you with chainsaws and stuff. Ugh. Yeah, no, no, Gusta. I don't want to be. 
Yeah, I don't like it. Not one bit. Not one bit. I would probably have a heart attack. Just going to throw that out there. <laughs> Not going to go. Oh, okay. So Joloft is asking, you know, um, the new Final Fantasy director has claimed that he wants to make the game more casual, including one-button combat. I know Kim is a big Final Fantasy nut, so how, how does that make you guys feel, though? One-button combat. Uh, I'm a little confused as to what that even means, to be honest. Like... Because when you play a traditional Final Fantasy game, there's really only one button that you use anyway. You know, and it's like you, you, you I guess, go down with a directional D-pad or whatever, and you, you select the option you want, and then you accept, and then you do whatever that command is. So I guess I haven't really looked too much into the combat system of Final Fantasy XV, so I just don't understand what the difference is. Maybe there's just no selection of options. Like, if you are a magic user, you just cast magic, you can't do items, you can't do a basic attack. I don't know. What does that even mean? Yeah, like, how would you target what you wanted to attack if yeah. you just I don't, I don't know. not the D-pad? Hmm. 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 I'm wondering. Yeah, the one button. Says the one button combat would imply that it's contextual. But even then. So you just like, attack the nearest thing? Because it seems, it to... seems like they've changed the timing of the battle, so it's more just there's no turn-based attacking. It's all just their enemies there on the field, and you just attack them. I'm assuming it's going to be like kind of like Shadows of Mordor, where you're just like you're clicking, and whether you're clicking in, you know, I, that's one. That's at least two-button combat, though. Like, what do we do for yeah. one? Don't don't change something that's amazing already, right? Like, because I mean, for Final Fantasy, their combat system has always been pretty iconic, right? Like. Turn-based combat, you're like, I'm into this. Like, don't don't change it. Leave it yeah. alone. I feel like if I wanted to play a game that only had a single button, I would just play Dynasty Warriors and just mash A or X all the time. <laughs> the game. Like, I don't need another game where I only need to hit one button, you know? <laughs> Please, no. Yeah, people in chat are saying it's like Kingdom Hearts. Like, that's exactly what I just said. Like, it's an open battle system. It's not the mm -hmm. turn-based battle system. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's one button. What does that mean? No. What does it mean? <laughs> yeah. All right, so I guess we should probably do two different rooms. Right? Yeah, three you gotta hurry up and share your can... link, or otherwise it won't... Um... I shared, I shared. It's in Skype. Should I just share it with the... the like, my other game, time, it times out. Kim, I invited you. I'm loading it now. Oh, so if you do invite friends. <gasps> What's my information? And, and then, then it... click on invite others and then copy invite yeah. link. Yeah. I did. And I posted it in the chat as well as in the. Here, here's a really easy question for everybody. What's your favorite console of all time? This is from Sweet Tooth. Favorite console. All time? Yeah. All Nintendo time. Nintendo 64. Sega Genesis. And 64 as well. PlayStation 2. PS1. Did we all answer? Kim. I'm still thinking about it. Kim Why always takes the longest. Count? Huh? Yes, PC counts. Oh, wait, that's just PC. Wait, what? <laughs> all PC's right. PC's out of console. We have room for one more person in our, in our party, whomever wants to join. Try. I will link it one more time. And then I'm... Um, the other three of you guys should set up your own room. Or, well, we can, yeah, yeah. That's I'm going to have to stuff. leave in a little bit, so I'm just going to play a couple okay. matches. Room settings. Do we want any items? No. Nope. No items. Yeah. You already have everything set up. Oh, wait. Dude. I'm in a room with these three? Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> Our, we're full. We're full. Oh, we're going to get crushed. I'm going to get this. crushed. Oh. I'm first one out every time. So we've got Wait. who's in this one? We got Dave, myself, Saber, Guess, Azrin, and Joa. Okay. I'm just enjoying watching this. I'm uh, yeah, I'm watching an so ad. skilled. <laughs> what do we think about streaming houses? Oh, that'd be so sick if we all lived together. I totally agree, Shanks. But um, I don't know. You know who now has a really sweet place. Oh. <laughs> she probably said the show, though. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because she never invites us over, like, ever. Oh, we're giving you a hard Soon. time. Soon. <laughs> Soon. 
We giving you a hard time. All the I don't know. Are we teasing? Are we teasing Siren or Pixel? Pixel. I was my, Pixel. Mine, yeah. mine will hold like two. You guys wouldn't even fit. What? What do you mean won't fit? You will, oh, I have a two well, bedroom condo. Like you guys would be sleeping outside. Oh, we can make it work. <clears throat> Oh, dude, wait, we need to me... shoutcast this. Where, where are you at? All right, Siren here with an excellent stack. Just now clearing it up. She's all the way down on the bottom, throwing shade on both Days and Saber. Saber here looking a bit over stack. Not what we usually see from Saber, one of our top Tetris players on the team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like our guest making a valiant effort here. He is currently out of the lowest uh, Days, dropping blocks left and right. <laughs> I love your comments. <laughs> <laughs> Running out of stuff to say, so we're just gonna wrap it up here. <laughs> really at a loss. Something Tetris. Something Tetris. Yes. This game stresses me out too much. This is a lot like a Pac-Man type game where, like, I, I get more anxious than I than I have fun. Yeah, I like can't play with a. Oh God, I'm I'm so out. Oh, oh, cool. I just got the option no. to join the queue. So if we join the queue on this, does it rotate people out automatically? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, sweet. No. Or, oh, shit, I died. It. Fuck. No. God damn it. Of course it would be Dave, Saber, and I. Yeah. I'm actually <laughs> guest, so I'm not surprised I got knocked out fourth. Oh, you're guest? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, um, uh, do you think a stream house oh. would be a viable from a business standpoint? Would it make it easier to get sponsor, stream, or do events? Yeah. Not I mean, if you guys us, had a like, consistent for... streaming schedule and like it was all on the same channel and it was like personalities and like you did videos together and like made a huge production out of it, yeah, it'd be a lot easier. Um, I don't think it, yeah, it's 100% needed, but. Well, I think the advantage is like people love, I think think to see us hanging out and like to hang out with us and that whole atmosphere is just a whole lot easier when you actually are physically in person just chilling so uh yeah that would be the ideal but i think hanging out on stream is is the reality for most people these days so hopefully it doesn't hurt us too much that we're all spread out all over the place because you guys are too we have, we have room, room for one if anybody wants to join oh uh, felix wolf um Question, how do you all stay beautiful? I think it's because uh, none of us actually go outside. Yes. Um, <laughs> have you heard of makeup? <laughs> <laughs> too much. Have you heard of too much makeup? Yes. Let's see here. Yeah, be sure to keep asking us questions in chat so we can keep making them be worse at Tetris. Okay. Just start this one. We'll let the people join. Just start it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's other people in here. Oh, there it goes. There's yeah, oh, there we're, we go. there's a bunch of us in the queue right now. So it should nice. just go. Oh, I am mm -hmm. watching Kiva's here. What's up, Kiva? Wait, Saber, how did she place that silly block there? I don't she T-spinned it. She T-spinned it. I don't know how to T-spin, but if you can T-spin, you're golden. That's how you Wait, win what's, this game. Wait, what's T-spin? What is T- the... T-spin right, is where us... you take a block and, um... Make it fit into an area without, and you spin it real fast so it can fit into an area oh, that yeah, you yeah. thought it couldn't. Man, she's breaking another technical. Mother terms. fucker, who just did that to me? Puki wants uh, to know if uh, can any of us beatbox. I wish. Boots and cats and boots and cats and. <laughs> oh, 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 that was really good. Yeah, keep <laughs> going, keep going. I was into it. <laughs> Can't Siren do it? It out a rhyme for me, Michelle. I, I um, pretend like I can do it, but I can't really do it. it. <laughs> Uh, Tooth wants to know what kind of cars do we own and what's our favorite car? San Francisco Muni. It's not ah! a car. That's what it does transport. It. <laughs> uh, Uber. It's my favorite. Yeah. Car. <laughs> oh my God. I'm in trouble. Yeah, me too. I'm in love. I got like Surprise. hurt really bad. This is actually a really good question too for a uh, siren. So siren, what's your favorite type of car? Answer it while you're trying to concentrate. Um, hold on. I have a lot of favorite type of cars. I, yeah, Siren's so, a drift just, racer, right? Eh? Oh, yeah, I wish. When I was 16, I was, man. Fast Furious came out, and I thought it was the shit. Uh, so, I drive, right now, I drive a Scion FRS. Um, and then, 
If I could pick any car, I would want a... That's really hard. I'd, I would take a Skyline. Fuck! Oh my god, see, you make me think and then I die! <laughs> oh, bitch. <laughs> Okay, uh, Brett wants to know, what's the first multiplayer game you guys ever played? <sighs> Sorry. What counts as a multiplayer? Because we kind of came in the age of, like, it was new and exciting Golden to, like, Eye. all play Mario Party and oh. Goldeneye. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. I think a Mario Kart on SNES was the first multiplayer game I've ever played. Mm. Yeah. Good one. Mm-hmm. So like multiplayer, multiplayer, World of Warcraft, right? Like that's that's about as big multiplayer as you can get, right? We're playing with everybody. Everyone's your friend. Oh, I should have kicked somebody so we could have gotten somebody in that was waiting. Mm -hmm. We'll do that next. I think like the shoot. first online multiplayer game I played was probably Unreal Tournament 2K4. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Super what a good one. Halo. Little Battlefield, actually. That was one of the ones that I first really, like, super got into. I come home from school every day and play. <laughs> Pookie wants to know, you girls going to play Destiny soon or not today? I think I'm most playing. of us are pretty obsessed with Destiny right now. Are you going to play? I'm playing <gasps> Street Magic, Pen? The Gatherings. <laughs> For all four hours? Yeah. Damn. Because a one, so I, I do something called a draft, right? And that Shit. takes, you've done it, right? Like, yeah, it takes, yeah. It takes about four, like three, three hours. Mm -hmm. And they came out of the brand Especially when you win all the time. Yeah. <laughs> it takes forever. That's all you do. So I, I hate the stupid I hate square so block. Uh, someone in chat wants to know if you guys are right now playing the brand new Call of Duty game. Is this it? What are you guys playing? Yes, yeah, this is it. This is Call of Duty. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, that's spicy. I will, because every year I buy the Call of Duty game, whether it's different or not. I just buy that year's game. <laughs> <laughs> I think I played last year's for a total of two hours during one of our community game nights. Me too. I just oh, remember yeah, I did. getting <gasps> mad, right? Oh, I just messed up so bad. So which I'm one really of you bitches were purposely myself. targeting me? Saber. No, not me. Ah! I'm not even looking. I'm just trying to stay alive. No, oh, I'm like, dead. Was perfectly sending me all I their messed lines. up. I we have some good players up. in here this time. Favorite stuck. rare franchise game. I hurt myself. Be my donut <laughs> and cry. Um. Mm. All right. How do I remove people so we can get somebody in who's waiting? Don't know. Is there a no way idea. to do that? Can you click on somebody's name? Like right click them? Oh. There's a ton of games developed by Rare. Well, yeah. I think I can just ask. So, yeah, um, ask in Joloff chat. and Azrin have both been in here um, since the beginning. If you two wouldn't mind stepping out so we can um, rotate. rotate people in, that would be appreciated. You lose yeah. you the option of sitting out next time. I can sit out, but I'm streaming, so I'm not. Felix yeah, like Wolf, if I could be a game character, I would be a Pokemon master. Oh, good choice. I, I can see in like the stereotypical like little hat, because every Pokemon trainer always has a hat, like every time. <laughs> Yay! Oh, they're so nice. Okay, how do the others join now? I think we just get put in once you it just start. puts them in. Okay, it like, pulls from the queue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You there we go. In. Oh, I you know what we should know. talk about oh, real quick? Um, so we should talk about the videos that we've actually put out this week, right? Like, So if you guys hop over to our YouTube channel, you can check out all the amazing content that came out this week, including uh, Shadow of Mordor gameplay, where you can see uh, Saber talking Elvish. So I feel like that's Oh my god, that was the cutest. And I'll drop that in <laughs> chat. So I'm so lame. What? That's what I thought after I pushed it live. I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> And everybody's like fawning over you. Yeah, yeah so lame. Like, my waifu. Uh, oh. They're like, Rachel, stop writing that on my videos. <laughs> <laughs> I like that game though. It's fun. Rachel, do you, you did you like playing it too? Yeah, I've streamed it, right? I've never played a game like that. Like I, I really am trying to think back and it's like not since Spyro have I played a game where you run around and, and interact with the game that way. And I was really having like a lot of fun. You know, Spyro. I don't... Do I miss the Spyro games? I miss those so much. 
They were great games. Now that I think back about like the weirder stuff in them. That was just like it was kind of like the Nickelodeon of gaming in that era then when you had all like the good shows like Angry Beavers and Doug and stuff. <sighs> Doug! Really, like, it, it pushed the, the limits a little bit. <laughs> Spyro was like that too. Why am I not getting any lines? I'm so upset right now. This is... You have to get like um, um a few in a row. So you have to get Are like you serious? Yeah. yeah. To send oh. to others. Oh, no, no. I meant, I meant like the straight up line. Oh, line I just didn't get one for forever. Got it. I just screwed myself. Oh, my God. I'm so mad. So oh, I. no. Uh, oh, no. No. Yeah, I don't like playing that Tetris was with the that was Saber Days or Siren <laughs> because, man, they're just good at Tetris. No, I've been doing good today. Good. My A game is off. Mine is too. Yo, you guys, you guys I have lag. In a long time. You guys have lag. It's internet lag, okay? It's video game lag. <laughs> in Tetris? Lag's affected. That's it. Oh, so how do you guys so feel? Bobby in the next week. <laughs> how much <laughs> do you guys think the social aspect of an MMO is? Like, are you guys really into the social aspects of MMO gaming? Absolutely. I I'm think in like pretty much games. every oh. every MMO that I've tried probably created a guild in every single one. And I've actually like recruited people and started like little websites for them. Yeah, uh, Cece and I get really into it when we when we actually go hard in an MMO. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll Who the fuck is still playing? Ah! Yes! Yeah! It went Damn Saber, it. Siren, me. Uh. You're down to the wire. Holy crap. Because, like, Dest Destiny is pretty much like Why an MMO, Why do your blocks right? look cool, Siren? Uh, what? But it has it, no... Like, it has, like, MMO elements in it, yeah. but... And I feel like it was, it was sort of, like, marketed as an MMO, but yeah. it never actually reached, like, the level that one would expect to see, like, as far as social stuff goes. Cause, like, mm -hmm. when you're running around in the tower, yeah, you can dance with people and whatever, but you, you can't, like, actually to talk to them. And so it's very sad. It feels yeah. very alone. So that's, that's what, like, when I play multiplayer, right? You can't, like, hear everyone... Mm -hmm. chat and that's like weird right yeah you can't even hear people on your own team in yeah. like the crucible matches which i think is super strange oh gosh the match has started and i was looking at chat so this is good uh -huh. so i felt like that's weird because like for every uh fps game like one of the perks of playing kind of kind of perks and in, in some cases maybe not but you get to talk with people you're playing with mm -hmm. you know like in, in some cases like it can be a very positive experience where you can you know um, determine gameplay strategies and stuff like that. But the... how do I hold? How do I hold? Uh, space. Shift. 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 Oh, shift. oh my god! Who you save my life? I'm all C. I changed mine. I guess. My C is space bar. My space bar drops stuff. Yeah, space bar drops. What game were you guys just talking about? Where you can't talk to your teammates? Destiny. Um, you're kind of oh. yeah. Destiny. Yeah. Wait, at yeah, all? but you can't like, ever really be in a party. Yeah. That's weird to be in a multiplayer game and you have to be in a party to actually talk to people. Yeah. But I was I'm hoping wrecked. that like the tower, like when they were when they were selling it, it was like the tower is going to be the social hub, and it's like what social hub? So I can talk to NPCs who don't really say much back to me. Cool. <laughs> and then you can't talk to the NPCs. Like I would say, like one in three NPCs will talk back to you. The rest of them, like, you do have no option to even interact with them. I still really like the game, though. Like, I've been pretty addicted for the last, like, uh, all weekend when I was sick. That's what I did was just play Destiny. It took you and days forever to get that game. Yeah, but I'm already level 24, so. I know you, but now when I play, I'm still the lowest. No, I am. <laughs> I had a start. I had it early. Like, one weekend, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to grind this out as much as I can so I can do raids with a <laughs> pixel. Prangly, you guys, this is the Tetris movie trailer. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Exclusive right here, right now. No, I just killed myself on accident again. Fudge, why do I keep doing that? Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, it's really weird they don't have proximity chat Fuck! in Destiny. Mm -hmm. No! Well, I mean, Damn, just, for, I just for going so to Crystal much. matches, there should be, I feel like. Ah! Like, I want to hear that little kid yelling at me, calling me names. Sorry. That's why I play Sorry. multiplayer games. I can step out. I can sit out one. No, Kim is the double. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then we are, we are all playing Destiny on Xbox One, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Nicole, if you want to kick me out for this next match, I can take a break. Thank no, you. no, 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 no. It's fine. Are you sure? 
We have two guests. So um, we'll, we're doing it rotating. We'll do two games for each person. So Saren, I think, has been in here for two games. So Saren, if you wouldn't mind sitting out, and then we'll get somebody else in. Um, and then Chaotic still has one more game. Oh, someone just brought up Five Nights and Freddy's in chat. Definitely watch the video. We'd love uh, it if you guys would leave uh, some comments on our videos. You know, hop on any videos on our channel, leave comments. Yeah. Especially for our, our Frag Dolls play series. Because that way it helps us decide what games we should play in the future. So, if there's a game that you guys want to see us play, be sure to leave a comment. It'll make Daze's job easier in the future. Yeah. <laughs> Well, sure. we did, because we had so many requests for Alien Isolation, we did turn our whole plan around to just make sure that, you know, you guys are happy. So uh, we're going to be playing that this week for you. <laughs> yeah, especially if you know free games. Those are the best games. Yeah, is, is Slenderman free? Please, uh, no. I think it <laughs> may be. No, no, don't say that. <laughs> gonna start I'll cry crying. on the stream right now. Oh, I hate scary games. Oh, we got requests for Civ Five. I will play the crap out of Civ yeah, Five. Yeah. I thought that was boring for you guys, but There's, I love that game. There's a new one coming out it. too. No, oh, we should make all. Can we all get it and play together? I we'll make the world together. Yeah, I'm down for that. I am super down. Just don't steal my bananas, then I'll rage quit. I, I swear to God, <laughs> truffles are mine. Fuck! <laughs> I hate Tetris so much today. I am not on my A game. I am done. I've been watching. That's I'm. That's you're the only box that I'm watching, Crystal. And I'm like, mm. I suck today. Mm. Fuck it, dude. Seriously. Oh my you're god. You're doing way better than I ever would. So don't worry. Oh look at that. You still there? Right in there. Sneaky. I hate it all. Um, come on, oh. Oh. This line. Not doing yes. much better. Gotta breathe. Ooh. And Crystal was sixth. Whew. Yeah, let's just point it out to the entire stream. <laughs> I just killed myself again. Oh, no. I'm gonna die muffins. too. Yep. Fourth place. <laughs> Pixel, take it home. Try and girl. Come on, Pixel. <laughs> Who invited Jeff? Oh wait, oh wait, shift, shift. Ah, that... <laughs> oh, this one goes the other way. Oh my god, I just screwed myself over. <laughs> Damn it. Who's Jeff calling today? Jeff. 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 How? Who would? That's so cute. I mean, he's a level 18. <laughs> Who invited this kid? <laughs> he joins. He was waiting in queue. Dude, he's crushing. Okay, so now cha Chaotic Fate, that was your second game. If you wouldn't mind sitting out um, for the next one, that would be sweet. Oh, that Jeff way, other left. people Jeff, I didn't mean you had to leave. I was just kidding. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, <laughs> and I if just, you guys want to wait kidding. in the queue to join us, that's Jeff, the link. Kidding. Okay, I'm going to dip out, guys. I'm going to have to stream for like 800 hours after this. But if you guys are in chat, be sure to stick around. After one, like 102, I'll be streaming. Playing Let's stay tuned. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go eat pizza. Hey, Chaotic, if you wouldn't mind sitting out a game so we can get two new people because you played two, that would be great. You could chat to them, too. You can always rejoin the queue. Yep, afterwards. rejoin the queue. Do, 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 do. I say we play a round of Town of Salem, just saying. Is that a browser based game? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you weren't here last week. I missed it. I'm down. I think it's fun. Although I do love Tetris, too. Ooh, softball game. What time? There we softball go. game tonight. What time is it where you're at? We're oh, just trying one. to rotate every two. Just uh, leave and then rejoin, and then you guys will get put back in queue. So it's not like one person all the time. All right. See, Saren and Joloff are already back in. Oh, I make some dumb decisions. Who's making my Kim cry? I don't accept that. M myself. It's my own <laughs> stupid fault. <laughs> so it's tough in Tetris. You can only really blame yourself. 
Uh, this, Jewel has a question for the chat. What's the first game you watched the Frag Dolls play? I guess that's also for us since there were Frag Dolls before I was one, and that would have been Rainbow Six. <laughs> Mm. Uh, yep, same rainbow for me. I honestly can't remember. Um, I think for me it would have been uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2. So I actually played with them for a community game night and it was really cool. And I was super stoked about it. Oh, Nerd! Oh, hey! So <laughs> adorable. <laughs> Um, how does, uh, ooh, Slicky Yoshi wants to get in there. How does he get in there? Uh, joins the link that was posted in chat. Okay, I got the link again. Here we go. Yeah. Oh. Well. I'm in big trouble right now. Nicole said at 307. <laughs> Shoot. Shit. Fudge. Well, let's I'm was gonna start tag ago. tagging people. Yeah, dude, Shumania was like a year ago. More oh. than that. It was like two years ago now, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was IPL time. Oh, IPL was so fun. That was one of the best events I went to in Vegas. I loved it. I loved every minute of it. I know, I miss IPL. Why did they have to sell? Why did they go bye-bye? Sire's Connie Nast or something, right? Sire, you KOD. Sorry. I won! Finally! It's okay. Surprise! <laughs> we should all play Yu-Gi-Oh! I did play Yu-Gi-Oh! I still have my dual disc. Don't even go there. Okay. <laughs> I won. So then the two people in here will get one more game and we'll rotate again. So just join the queue if you guys haven't yet. And we're starting. Who, me? Oh, what'd you make? God. Having my mom here is so awesome. Adults are banned from Yu-Gi-Oh! Nights at the local game stores? Really? In San yeah. Francisco? Wait, at all the, all the stores? Why? Not at all of them, but a lot of them, I think. Oh my god, I just got a bonus for T-spinning. I feel so good right now. How do you T-spin? I don't know how to do that. I'm playing this game forever. So, um, I use, like, the little T block or whatever, and then What's found that? a gap where you had to spin it at the last minute for it to so fit to in. It. And it, I just hit the up arrow. And it works? Yeah. Fuckers. <laughs> Do I know what the Gamescom is, Medicator? The uh, event in Germany? Absolutely. Unless you're talking about the headphone, the Gamecom. No, you stupid green ugly block. <laughs> the name calling is real. Hey, what do these Tetris pieces do to you? I hurt my pants. Oh shit! Are you serious right now? Someone just put like 10 million lines on my board. I'm so mad at you, whoever that was. It wasn't me. I'm turning on the counter. It wasn't me. I'm turning on the counter. Go! Holy shit. Yeah, somebody this just did that to me too. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. I don't even understand how so many lines could have appeared on my board at one time. I'm in trouble. Fudge. Yeah, me too. Shit! I just jacked myself up so bad. You guys need to stop talking. Ah. <laughs> oh, I just keep ruining no. it. I'm dead. Again, Saber wins again. Yes! 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 I barely held out. Oh my gosh. All right, so I think that was it for um, Jolop and Saren. If you two wouldn't mind sitting out again, um, that way we can get two different people in here. Oh, and just shit, rejoin the shit. queue. I actually, God damn it! What? Can I, I invite you specifically? Oh, you left the room. I left okay. the room. No, it's cool. I'm going to get, you guys want to play one round of um, Town of Salem after your next one? 
Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, did you get kicked out? You're the one streaming. Yeah, that's um, that's why I tried to invite her back. I, I I can get back in. I can only watch though. It's fine. Oh, the connection is lost. Never mind. Can I have a link again? Uh, it's the same one in the Skype chat. Boop. Sorry, I'm in game. I can't like risk losing. You know, so it's pretty Lynch intense. In chat has a good question. She says, "Being a girl, I always get funny looks when I say I like gaming." What was your friends' reactions? I'm curious. How did people take that when you were get when you were growing up? Well, we're like, I love video games. And I think I get it more now than I did before. Like now that like you're real life, mean? like yeah, like real life friends, like people I hang out with, like people, like I went back to school, just like random people. But all the guys are still like, dude, that's so awesome. And then if I come across, like, I mean, I worked at Mac forever, and Mac is very much like everybody that works there is girly girl. Mac makeup, not computers, everybody. Yeah. yeah, so, um, they, I mean, they thought it was weird, but they also thought it was freaking awesome, so, I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't know actually, a dirty look. get is like, that's so cool! <laughs> I think you just gotta be confident in the way you do it, and not be like, hey, I play games, I know it's weird, but you gotta be like, dude, I play games, and I play games, you know, <laughs> like. Yeah, you gotta I think own the way it. you gotta, you say it, maybe, I don't know. Honestly, when people find out, like, my guy friends, they're always like, gosh, that's so cool. Or they hit on me. That's about it. <laughs> that's, about, that's about it. Or they don't understand. Most of my friends honestly don't understand the gaming world. They don't get anything about it. They don't get what I do. They don't get why I do it. They're very out. I grew up in a hippie area, so they're very outdoorsy. And they're like, wait, so you sit inside all day? And I'm like, well, like, not all day, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I actually, I'm surprised a lot of this, like, girls play games thing is coming out so much, because a lot of people, guys and girls, like, no, they don't play games when I meet them, and that's super weird to me. Oh. Like, I'm never, I'm never surprised when somebody tells me they play games, I'm really surprised and weirded out when somebody tells me, like, games are not in any way a part of their life. Yeah, and it's funny, though, because the majority of people that I come across, like, even if now today they are so, like, even, like, the girly girls that would never even touch a game... When I tell them that, they're always like, oh, I used to play blah, blah, blah when I was a kid. And they used to play games all the way up until, you know, junior high, high school. And that's usually the time that it kind of stopped for them. So they do have sub. I mean, I think they still think that like, Mario Kart's what we're playing, but I don't know. Okay, so to get into Q, you have to join the link that we just posted. And, and it'll ask you Q. if you, yeah, it'll ask you to join Q. Make so. this the last one, though. We want to kill people in town of Salem. What? I'm having so much fun. This game is so addicting. <laughs> They're so into it. I do like the mouth open focus mode. Like, I have you no guys all look like running. <laughs> Oh no. I just don't even get it. What are you doing to me? <sighs> oh my god. Person. Oh my god. Stop. Stop. It's you. Stop. It is you. It's oh you. Oh my god. Jerk. I'm so upset. I'm not even playing. Oh my god. Why? Ah! <laughs> You're seeing a montage of like all of these lines that are just getting sent my way every time. every time. I like Turtle's question. Who of your guest streamers will be the next level up to Fragdoll status? So, Neo, that's not the way that we do it. Um, and we actually are after Anna Marie. Anna, Anna Marie. Oh my god. Anna Marie left. Um, we decided that we were not going to hire because workload-wise, we didn't really need to hire anybody else in the team at the time. Um, but hopefully, in the future, if we can, it changes every time. I and mean, if we don't hire now, I mean, you know, if we hire now versus six months from now, our needs would probably really change. So it really is based on what we need on the team and who's still on the team. 
what type of projects we would want to give them. So, I don't know. I don't think any of us could be like, boom, this person. Oh, shoot. I just messed up so bad. Oh, I killed myself. No, death to me. <laughs> Down to our two guests. Uh oh. -uh. Right, you guess guys ready? Battle. You guys ready to play Town of Salem after this? Guest battle. Yes. Sure. Town of Salem, gonna play right now. Okay, town. Town of. I don't remember my information. Salem. So oh, neither do I. On, I'm in trouble. Technical. Just make a new one. Play now. Username. Oh, days FD maybe. I can tell you, you're on my list. I think I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yours is just J days FD, Esper FD. Is it space FD? No, there's no space. Pixel FD. Okay. Yeah, there's no spaces. Oh man. Okay. Just looking at all you guys already online. Damn, you're fast. Uh, wait, what was it? I missed it. Wait. Oh, come play it? this, Rachel. This is fun. Uh, I, I got this. in. Wait. Do, do you need a link? Link me. Here, I oh. linked it. Okay. Thank you. Time to say I have to register. Is it going to register with my Facebook? Don't yeah, don't do don't, rate, don't do Facebook. Don't link it. Let's see. You know, I have to go to the gym after this, and I really don't want to. <sighs> what happened to the exercise streams? I don't have my mic yet. I'm still waiting for it to be delivered. I don't want to watch on Prime. The days dance. You, you want to watch the days or size? <laughs> the days are set. <laughs> yeah, all right. Now pick up your legs. <laughs> Come on, guys. You can do it. <laughs> That's my fake voice. You can tell. And yeah, stick with it. One more. Keep it up. Uh. I had to change okay. my screen I'm layout. Just... <laughs> I'm changing my screen layout because some reason it... Just bear with me. Oh, well. Good enough. Changing this. Hey, some of us, some of them are excited about my exercise stream. Some of them asked me when it's going to start. I'm excited. Are you guys going to join me? In <laughs> Hell we're gonna play, no. Like, we're going to do like Just Dance 2014 <laughs> and Shape Up and a ton of other ones that I haven't decided on yet. I want to play Shape Up. <laughs> oh, my word, the volume. Just Dance 2015 come out? 2015, that that's out what I meant. October 21st. Yep. Yeah! Two more weeks. Nice. Who's all here? Who are we waiting on? Dave, are you in here? Um, oh. I didn't get an invite. Oh, I got an invite. I just didn't accept. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Oh, um. Add me. Add me. What's your... And just, um... Sasserplez. PLZ. Boop! Did you get it? I accept. Invite has been sent! Town of Salem! Oh, wait, how many people are in here? We already have 15. Did you get in? Uh, yes. I have a loading bar. Yay, yeah, she's I'll in. Ah, Monty Fisto. All right, so we'll start in just two seconds. We'll get two more people in. Um, so technically what this game is, it's all about lies and deception and deceit. It is a browser-based game from Blake Media Games. They are doing a Kickstarter for this. They've already raised over, like, <clears throat> I think this is the second time they've been doing the Kickstarter, but um, if you've ever played Werewolves or Mafia, it's really similar to that. So we just kill people. You guys ready? Uh, yes. What do I do? Do I press start? Oh no, players in lobby in 15. I don't know what I do. 
No, it's 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 our it's our we're just waiting for this. Okay. How do I turn volume down? Turn volume down? Uh, you can turn it off once we get into the game. Alright, so here you guys can put in a name. Days Poo Poo Dingle. <laughs> Thanks. Oh my god. Penguin Days Poop. poop. <laughs> Days Poop. Siren Poo. You guys are the Penguin best. Poop. Oh my god. So How much many poop. poo names are there? Is that the randomized name? Or? No, no oh, the randomized like names up. are like if you were to be a part of like the 13 colonies. What your name would be. <laughs> Petrus, please help us save her. Oh, Get her. Snap. It's oh, not for the calling you out. <laughs> it's not. Or are you just saying that? Because you are crafty. Nuh uh. I suck keep it against me. Still very sad about that. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't want to like say anything because i was like well like i feel that's like cheating but i guess it's not <laughs> I <don't know>. jerk <laughs> this town is full of poo <laughs> it really is okay now we get our roles right so your role is in the top right hand corner of who you are assigned to if you guys are watching you haven't played this there's three different factions so there's the town's people who are all in green um, there's the Mafia, who are all in red, and then there's a serial killer. So the serial killer, their job is literally to literally kill anybody and everybody to win. Um, the town wants to kill the serial killer and all the Mafia to win, and the Mafia needs to kill everybody to win. So, kind of depends on where you're at. So what happened? We just went in the houses, it was nighttime, and then we come back. What happened? Have you, have you played uh, werewolves? No. All right, so at nighttime, the mafia, the three people that are in red, decide to kill somebody, right? So nobody died, so it seems as if that person then was healed by either a doctor or something. Somehow somebody didn't die. A serial killer didn't kill either. How do I kill if I can kill people? <laughs> well, it, you don't have um, <laughs> So at nighttime, when it's when it's nighttime, on the far right it has everybody's name. See how it says one through fifteen. At night, these little uh, like t wood planks show up. You can just highlight the plank, and it will kill them. The night uh, they will kill them in the day. Uh. <laughs> so now you can vote for people to die, Rachel. So right now, there's one vote for Steely Hawkins, and there's two votes for Tetris. Please help. Who would vote and for Steve Hawkins? And she needs eight. Oh my god, she's just getting <laughs> lynched right away. Oh. What is this game? So, there had to be more than eight people to put somebody Wait, up for trial. <laughs> so, so whoever Tetris Please Help is has to defend themselves right now. Type into the chat why you want to live i just wanted to queue up in tetris and i couldn't oh that's not that's not oh, favorite no, innocent oh, oh. innocent oh. Nice try kim <laughs> oh. you dang. Oh, hate me apparently wow Smokes. so now you have to vote if they're guilty or innocent and usually you really don't know right person. in the beginning oh it was five to wow. five oh Somebody mm -hmm. save this person. Interesting. Oh, man. Is that you, Kim? No. It's, ah! it's not me. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> uh, Panda, you can join next game. This is the link. You need to make an account. I have no idea why. I have no idea. So your role, whoever you guys are, is in the top right-hand corner, and that's what you can do throughout your role. So you could be a townsman, you could be a, a serial killer, you could be the mafia, and you guys, like, the bad people kill at night, and, like, the good people try to figure out who they are and kill them before they win. This is... I don't... Hmm. 
Batman. How long is Batman? Oh, oh my God, God but he's dead. Oh no, Brad Blue. No, Brad Blue's dead. <laughs> no last will. Tetris, aka Kim, aka Saber, did it. <laughs> what? Saber, They're you out okay? They're out to get me. It's not me. Maybe Relic needs to go. I mean, hmm. So right. sad. <laughs> Life wasted. I would love a small piece of pizza, Mom. Thanks. <laughs> Hey, I'm so confused. I'm Why would Days Poo too. say Days Poo is Mafia? There's two. There's Days Poo oh, and Days Poop. And Days oh, <laughs> that's confusing. The rescue is our doctor. Says crap. Oh, but that's oh, no. interesting because wait. So so Days Poop voted against Tetris. Please help. But if Oh, the mafia is not aligned with the serial killer, right? So they no. still got you it. You remember, okay. there's three factions. The serial killer is completely, like, literally by themselves. The only way the serial Wait, killer nobody can win... voted for them to die. There wasn't this enough. Was we needed the... eight. Oh my gosh, lol. Yeah. Okay. I, I think I'm ready for the Kim Kardashian game over this. I don't know what this is all about. We, we felt How the same winning? way last week. <laughs> oh, this house arrangement, though. I don't know about this neighborhood. It's very communal, you know? It's just... <laughs> you know, all the houses <laughs> face the gallows. That's yeah. <laughs> Oh, Siren Poo is dead! Oh. Serial killer! Oh. I wonder who Siren Poo is. You know my name. Relic died. Oh no! I'm yeah, shooting at not. I am a pacifist. The villain. Yeah, Tetris. Tetris. What does a death note mean? <clears throat> He's a vigilante. Interesting. Oh, he was killed by a member of the Mafia. We have found a will next to their body. Logan Lunch Jester. Here's hoping you hung me. If you hung me, answer goes, yes, I'll kill somebody. What? <laughs> Wait, was oh, Mo Logan the Siren Poo? Okay. Why does Joa swear that Tetris is used? Use, use. Joa must be Tetris. Yeah, that makes sense. I think Joa is Tetris. Mom. I would never use a name so obvious. If I love Tetris, I would never call myself Tetris. <laughs> but that would be like the tricky thing to do. Mm, yeah, it's nah. Oh, she doesn't need help with Tetris though. That's why. Thing in this well, what does that even mean? If Days Poop is attacking the survive, does that mean they're the bad? Days Poo, not poop. No, if you're attacking and you different. survived, you're probably the doctor or protected. someone moved you. Yeah. So yeah. You, if you're a doctor, you could protect yourself once, or you can be moved around. There's How um, do you protect yourself? if you're the doctor. So who? Tetris. Kill Tetris. Vote for Tetris. Days how did Okay, good. He got voted in. I was about to lose my marbles. <laughs> <laughs> this is a wonderful examination of, of mob mentality. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I remembered when I was a young sir and played Tetris. This is defense. Best defense ever. Now I try to play Tetris and get lynched. 
You still lynch. That is not Kim. But let's still lynch him. Yeah. <laughs> I told it's not me. So if you guys want to play... Oh, if you click it again, it cancels. There's so many people that want to yeah, play. Um, we'll play one more, or I'll play one more after this. Um, if we play, we can only do up to 15 people. So it's going to be the first 15 that, that join. Oh, goodbye, Tetris. Oh, oh. oh. What just happened? We killed him. Such a sadness. Oh, he is SK. <laughs> ah! Dingle Poo is a man. Oh. What? He was How a serial they killer. Okay. He was a serial killer. Wow. Do we win? Not yet. <laughs> didn't the jester get to kill somebody when he dies though only if he's lynched he was killed at night we didn't put him to trial oh. how do you write notes so at the very top where the chat bubbles at chat log right next to it's your last will so that's where you can write whatever you want so if you that are is... oh no if you're a doctor or you're somebody special, um, you can write like night one healed this person or night two did this, night three did this. So just put N1, whatever, N2, whatever. I'm Batman, sexy Batman <laughs> escort. <laughs> <laughs> we are killing all the good people in town. <laughs> well, it wasn't us. That's the bad guys. So um, that means Rachel's a bad guy. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Yeah, but maybe I was Batman. Uh, probably not, though. Hmm. I have a feeling you're Steely Hawkins. Are you bad? Are you bad, Steely Hawkins? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, name oh is Steely gosh. Hawkins. Oh, my gosh. Did. I did something weird. Why are they voting for Penguin? People are just now voting randomly. Well, we got a lot of evidence against Penguin Poops. So what are you talking about? We do? Evidence. Uh, sure. uh, My evidence is her saying we have evidence. It's definitely Penguin Poops. I don't even understand why we're... Penguin Poops are so chat? nasty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got oh. off the hook. <laughs> Wait, how? Oh, just not enough? I think it's just the timer. I oh, always forget there's a timer. Interesting. Stuff. Yeah, so not enough votes. We have to vote fast. <laughs> this game, though. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it! Fuck! Whoa. What? I died. I was not Oh, here. you were dazed. What? <laughs> now, the shitty thing about that is when I'm streaming and I'm part of the mafia, it's so stupid. Can you cover it? Like, put your, um, like... I don't know. Not really. Oh, I didn't even think to look at your stream. <laughs> Poo Dingle is my favorite name. <laughs> hmm. Are you Batman? So what? What are we? 
Try being your poop siren. <laughs> Gross. Oh, someone left the game. Jack is oh, out no. of here. Jack, no. The game is kind of slow, Neo says. A little bit. We were just not talking as much. Yeah, we're all kind of learning this game, so. Mm hmm. I think we're pretty Yeah, Neo said he wanted to play. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, boat's up. <laughs> Let's vote for the guy that went AFK, Jack. Hmm. Let's get the guy who's just a, a nobody now out of here, right? Because he quit. Well, can the, will I, it pull his character? I from think the game? he'll die at night. I'm pretty sure he'll die at night. Mm. Oh, gotcha. If he, I mean, if he literally left. This is a sad little town. <laughs> it really is. So yeah, I guess the premise of this for you guys that are just joining us or uh, anyone that confused what's going on is uh, everyone has a secret role. You can see crystals or you can see sirens because she's streaming, but oh my god, there's two people dead. Siren scream! Oh, dang. Uh, siren scream is uh... Eat less, Eat less noodles. noodles. That pickle. I mean, did we get that twice? Uh, yeah, I think it's just a standard. It's just a, whoever. It's, whoever does the, no, whoever does the killing no, can not. write it. No, whoever does the killing can write it. Oh. But I, I've been. I, oh. I just died. I didn't ever write in that death note. Oh, no, oh you're it's killing. whoever killed you. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Holy fuck, you guys got both of the. Yeah! I am the <laughs> Yeah. How did they do that? He went. I was the sheriff, so that I, I, could, I found everybody on my first few clicks. You liar, you looked at my screen. <laughs> no, ma'am. Look at my note. Listen, two, two of you died because I was a veteran on guard. Yeah, night three, penguin poop safe. Night four, siren scream, mafia. I was fucking good. All right, I literally just invited anybody that was on here. Oh, wait, isn't our time up, though? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of... You guys can go if you want. There's a lot of people that still want to... Um, that want to play. Yeah, there's, like, at least some new people. That piece of pizza was delicious. No, I don't want another one. Yeah. Alrighty, well, everybody, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us and gaming with us and watching our Frag Dolls live. Um, the recap will go up tomorrow on youtube.com slash Frag Dolls, so make sure to subscribe there if you haven't already. And make sure to press that follow button here, because you love us! Yay! Okay. Uh, I'm going to keep this... I'm going to keep this... Oh, yeah, she's streaming next. Never mind. I'm yeah, like, I'm going to keep the stream up. Play if you want. She said you can go one more if you want to play another one, Crystal. Right. She would I'm gonna, not mind eating. Yeah, we're going to do one more. Okay. They're going to do one more. So, yeah. All right. I this is Pixel. I'm going to bounce. Yeah. Bye, Pixel. Bye. Bye. Thanks, guys. I'm going to drop off, too, but I'll see you all later on. Have fun. Bye. Bye. Kim, are you staying? Am I all yeah. alone? Oh, okay. No, I'll stay. Oh. <laughs> I'm here, I'll stay. Um, yeah, there we go. It was hard. I'm always the framer. I would love to not be the framer this time. Oh, you're with yes. me! Yeah. But I, every, three out of the four times I played this game, I've been the framer. <laughs> really? That's weird. Yeah. I would love to, uh, if we kept like our real names, to actually know. So then I would know like it's you, and then I could have messaged you on Skype. But yeah, then people are more apt to come and get you because they know it's you. 
not having anything to do with the game. Right, that's true. So, okay, you guys, uh, if you guys go to blankmediagames.com, hurry up and get an account, add me. It's uh, Siren SC. Although we might be full. <coughs> How many people got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11, um, 12, 13, 14. We have 14. We have room for one more. Is there a link to our, like, team? What? Twitch. Remember we used to have twitch.tv slash... Yeah, should we twitch slash fraggles? I think so. Type the teams first. Individual Twitch streams here. I just got someone in chat was asking about um our individual Twitch streams, and that's the easiest way is just point them there. Yeah, does that work? Yeah. yeah. Saber, Although Dave, it's Pickle, old, we need, to, we need to update. And I don't ever stream on my own, but uh, if I did. Yeah, I don't know if anybody actually ever uses the team pages. I'm not sure. I know we wanted to for a little bit, but then we, I don't know, didn't. <laughs> I sent you an invite, dude. We have one spot left, and all three of them are just pending. Oh, weird. You guys accept. There we got with someone. Here we go. Woohoo! If any of you people out there try to screen hack a cheat, you're all gonna die. Yeah, don't do it. It's not cool. Bastards. <laughs> <laughs> We have a hassle off. Hmm? No savers or Tetrises. Smart move. <laughs> There's not, not as many poops either. That's true. I like the name. It's not me. It wasn't me. <laughs> Got me on the counter. It wasn't me. Liam Nielsen was. <laughs> Hilarious. Who's in here? Awesome, Brett Joker. Okay. Yeah, I don't really like this role. Uh. Sorry, Neo. I don't know why I want to let you join. It's a panda. I just literally was hitting people as fast as I could for fifteen in. Hasselhoff. <laughs> oh, Batman's back too. Batman. Oh, two deaths. I swear to God, people cheat. I was the first one dead, really. Really, guys? Oh, for real? Well, GG, there goes the stream. <laughs> Who oh, are you? A fucking joker. Oh, you were the medium, too. Wow. It says that I can talk to one person at night, uh, one person during the day once I'm done.
What? I'm so confused. Do I have the ability to talk to somebody once they die? But why would I do that? If well, because they... Do they ever know who kills them? But if I'm dead, I can't help out anybody that's alive anyways. No, yeah, if you're dead, you can't. But you... Because I died first, it doesn't help me in any way. I feel like I should let Michelle take over the stream now. Because uh, this is awkward. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, this, yeah, uh, this is awkward. I'm just going to watch people and be pissed that I died. It wasn't me. Oh, man. <laughs> so silly. Well, let's see who's gonna die now. What are you, Kim? Since I'm, I'm already dead. Um, I am the transporter. Okay, I was going to say, you're the framer again, because... Uh, I would be so mad. So if you transport people and they were being attacked, that saves them, right? Yes. How do people have time to write notes? I can't even... <laughs> I do it at night. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Wow. So, um, it's not me, is SK. Really? How do you know? That's what uh, people that are dead are saying. Oh. All right, guys. So, we're going to give Michelle the stream <laughs> um, since I'm already dead. And, well, I'm dead. So, thank you guys so much for joining our show today and then playing Tetris and Town of Salem with us. Make sure that you guys tune in next week for Fragdolls Live at 11 a.m. Um, if you guys are just joining and you missed the show, it's okay because we'll actually post it tomorrow on YouTube for Fragdoll Friday. Other than that, have a fantastic day, and we love you guys. Bye.